on your jargon. Santa Claus is coming to town. Christmas, wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you. Oh, yeah, got the Christmas ears on because the songs for it did was actually little bits of different ones. Muddled it up a little bit, but I tried to sing along. Christmas spirit sort of thing. <laughs> So first things first, lots of people have been asking me to do all different Christmas YouTubes and at first I wasn't going to do it because I do what I like on my YouTube site. So if I don't want to do something, I don't do it. Plain and simple. <laughs> my channel, my rules. I was telling Des the other day she was having a big sock about, oh I'm not going to get to see my daughter, my Christmas is basically ruined and I was telling her you actually forget that some people actually do it a lot harder because I actually have a story from years ago I would have been 17, 18 or yeah around that time anyway um, I was actually seeing this bloke named Eddie and we were you know having fun screwing that sort of thing so I was telling Des the story I said years ago it was Boxing Day and Eddie was actually over my place he stayed over the night before because he wanted to give me Christmas presents and we you know muck around, have a bit of fun sort of thing. So he was there and I said to him, I said, fuck all's open today, what do you want to do? And he says, I don't know, why don't we go to the beach? And so um, we actually said, all right, well, let's go down the coast. We can take some grog down, maybe even have a bit of a... And so I said, yeah, that sounds good. And then all of a sudden, two of my girlfriends from school, Colonia Lasuna, they're actually from New Zealand. They're Māori and that's actually the real way what you say, Māori. So it's... Mouldy. Anyway, they said, what are you doing? And I had the shits because you don't just come over someone's house. So I lied and I said, oh, we're not doing anything. And then fucking Eddie opens his big fucking mouth and he says, we're going down to Wollongong and go to the beach. And I thought, you fucking idiot. And then Lucina says, oh, is it all right if we come? You know, look at me right in the eyes. What am I going to say? No, you can't come. So anyway, the girls end up coming. So we drove down and I sat in the front, the two girls in the back. <laughs> flapping their gums and laughing the whole way down you know didn't even care I was getting really pissed off anyway so we get down the beach and we have a few drinks and then we all go in the water and it was really nice and beautiful and so we were swimming and we we're swimming and you know me and Eddie were having a bit of fun feeling each other up under the water and all of that you know a bit of fun yeah and then Eddie said do you want to go out and have a few puffs? And I said, I'll join you in a minute because I'm actually enjoying the water, so I want to stay and swim. He goes, all right, well, I'll get out and roll it, and when you get out, it should be ready. And I said, all right, cool. So I'm swimming and I'm swimming and I'm swimming. I could feel the water getting a bit strong, and I thought, well, hang on a minute, this could be a bit dangerous. Colony and Lucina, they started swimming out even further than me, and I said to them, I said, watch out, will you, because I can feel the currents. The currents is going all through it, and it's really strong, you know, so you don't want to go out too far because you get yourself in trouble and you'll be fucking cactus. And they say, nah, Sherilyn. That's how they say my name. Funny accent, they say, nah, Sherilyn, we right. And then they start swimming off, and I thought, stupid kiwi bitches so then i turned back to the beach you know the sand and all of that and all of a sudden eddie's all the way up here and i thought hang on a minute i've actually drifted off further out you know i started panicking and my asthma started getting to me and i just put my arms up in the air screaming and yelling out to eddie and then eddie runs in and he's swimming and he's swimming and he's coming to get me and i'm actually going out further and further and I thought, fuck me, Dad, I'm about to die, but I'm also going to get Eddie killed as well. But he actually reached me, and I was trying to grab him and grab him, and I was having a real panic attack, and he says, relax, I've got you. And so he put his arms around me. He's like, we caught now, so you're actually going to have to help me a little bit. So we paddled back, and we made it back. And so when my feet hit the sand, we stood for a minute, and then we look over, and Colony and Lucina screaming and their arms are up in the air as well. So I said to Eddie, I said, what are we going to do? He goes, I'll go back and get them. I said, Eddie, you're going to get yourself killed. He grabbed him by the arm. I said, don't you fucking dare. He says, you know, they're going to drown. I said to him, I said, I'm not prepared to lose two friends 
and my lover as well. You know, we didn't know what to do. And then all of a sudden we look over. Lucina is actually pushing down Kalini to keep herself above water. And the way she was doing it, she was basically drowning her. It, you know, she was holding her down. The poor girls, they're drifting out further and further. And so he said, Sherilyn, don't panic. And he ran back in, you know, and I could see the girls getting further away. And then he's swimming and he's swimming and he's trying to go in after them. And I can see they're just getting further and further away. And I'm just standing there screaming, Teddy, come back, come back, you're gonna get yourself killed. They're going out further and further. And then I see Eddie just gets, you know, overworked with defeat and he just stopped and then he just put his hands like this and he knew that he did not have enough strength to go out there and get him. He just saved me and then those two, you know, they're big girls. They were huge girls. So Eddie was just in the water and I'm just on the beach watching two of my best girlfriends drown to death. You know, on Christmas, um, Boxing Day, day after Christmas day, so I thought, great, you know, my Christmas has been ruined, you know, so both of them did. I would just watch them drown, you know, cactus, ratchet, you know, just like that. As I was watching them drown to death, all I could think was, what are people going to think of me? Their own friend didn't even go and try to help them. What people don't realise is that I'm an asthmatic. I have a hole in my heart. I was actually born with two holes in my heart and a heart murmur. If I went in and tried to save them, I would have killed myself as well because I probably wasn't strong enough and I almost did die that day. Eddie come and get me. Eddie tried to go in and save them. So we did nothing wrong. Sometimes Christmas can be ruined. So it's not all given presents and kisses and cuddles. Sometimes people have awful Christmas. Who knows? You know, so then time went on and me and Eddie broke up and that was that. But every couple of Christmases, I actually do think about Lucina and Kalini. Really sad story. Just a little bit of a, you know, different sort of Christmas story for everyone since you all wanted it so bad and I thought instead of giving you you know the standard giving presents and kisses and cuddles bullshit that everyone wants on Christmas sometimes people have awful Christmas day Boxing Day day after Christmas yeah so uh, let's leave it at that you can actually add me on my Twitch site at Sherilyn Barnes hashtag R.I.P. Kalini and Lucina. Make sure you add me on my Facebook site www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes AU for Australia. Make sure you add my Instagram site and make sure you also add my Snapchat site and make sure you click subscribe so you'll be able to see all the other YouTubes that I've done and you'll be able to see all the other ones that come out in future days as well. Alright chooks, let's leave it at that. Uh, pussy kiss, reindeer kiss, and uh, Merry Christmas, ciao for now, jokes. That's right, I'm gonna stab you. I don't even know what way I'm gonna do it because I've got a, you know, a little kitchen knife and I actually like to kill people with that. But then again, I've got this real big machete as well.